Okay, so uh, this is going to be a video to help all of the people out there that uh, have joined my channel. And I want to say thank you to all of you that have joined my channel. I really appreciate it. And, and I really appreciate the comments, both good and bad. This is a learning experience for me. So I try to take everything that people have commented on and change things, rearrange things, uh, stuff like that. So I, I really appreci appreciate every one of you. Uh, but this video is going to be for the people that want to make the fishbowl people and they can't because they don't know how to draw, can't draw, can't freehand, don't have a cricket for whatever, you know, just whatever the reason is that you uh, are not able to do it. So I wanted to do this little video. These are some pictures that I went out on the internet and printed out. They're printed uh, wallet size just so you know but this one here you can see his little mouth down at the bottom didn't print out which is not a big deal you just take a pencil and you finish it off and just cut them out and so I have a clown face uh, not a clown face a snowman face and I have the Grinch with the smile and this one here was actually printed uh, three and a half by five and I did this one because I wanted his face to be wallet size so I had to print this one a little bit bigger but when you cut it out you're just going to to cut out the face part of it and that's the only piece that you're going to use so I went ahead and cut them all out and these are paint markers they're put out by Sharpie and um, they they come in all different colors as you can see this is my my collection of them but they're paint markers and I got them at Hobby Lobby and they come in three different sizes and you have like a really big tip I don't know if you can see them or not but they come in a really big tip and they come in a medium sized tip which is a little bit a little bit smaller and then they come in a really fine, fine tip. So you have three different tips that you can use. They run about $2.99 a piece, but they last a really long time and they're, they're, they're good pens. So what you're going to do, and I've tried um, just regular Sharpies doing this and it doesn't work. It does and it doesn't. When I say it doesn't, it just when you mark on the glass uh, it you have to go over it several times and it's a little bit see-through uh, these are too but not as bad as the sharpie is so um, that's why I wanted to do this video with the uh, paint markers so just wipe that off with some alcohol So what you're going to do is you're going to get your little picture and I have a little piece of tape right here on the bottom of it and you're just going to stick it inside of your bowl. And I only stick it to the bottom so that as you're, you're doing this you can kind of roll the paper and it helps instead of trying to tape it all down and wrinkles everywhere. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paint marker and make sure that it's ready to paint with and you now have a stencil to go by. And you'll do this first before you do the mop and glow and the glitter. So you'll have your face already done at the beginning of it versus waiting till the end of it. And while you're doing this, if you find that you've made a mistake or it didn't come out right or you just didn't like the way it looked, 
uh, rubbing alcohol will take this ink off. So all you want to do is just follow the outline and try not to smudge the other pieces that you've already drawn on until it dries. And if by chance you do happen to smudge it, again, rubbing alcohol will clean it up and you can do it over. And if you find that you've missed a a little spot or whatever while you're drying it. Once you take the paper out, you can go back over it. Let's take the orange and do his little carrot. And you're just going to color it in. We'll give them some blue eyes. And his little carrot needs some little lines on it. Once you're all done, you take your little piece of paper out and you can see anything that you've missed and you can actually go over it and finish it off, clean it up. Sometimes when the paper is in there, it's a little bit hard to see if you've missed anything. So you just take the paper out and you go back over it. stick this inside so that everybody can see. And there is your snowman face. How cute is that? And just set them off to dry for a minute. And if you want to do the Grinch, there he is. And you just do the same thing you tape them in the bottom of it. And take your black marker. And just trace over your stencil. And of course, it doesn't have to be exactly as the stencil, like his eyebrows. I just kind of scribbled up. I'm sure it doesn't match exactly, but 
it, take your paper out, and there's your Grinch. So if you don't have a Cricut and you can't freehand, it's it can still be done. You just have to it'll take a little bit longer to do but not that much longer it took me about as long to do these as it does for me to put the stickers from my Cricut on and the paint pens work really really well and you can still go back and if a little spot shows up you can touch it up um, but I hope this helps and this will give you the opportunity to do the little people but he came out really cute and again thank you for joining my channel I appreciate it keep the comments coming and we'll see you next time